hey guys Tawasam here so in today's video i'll be showing you how to install windows 11 on unsupported hardware so meaning no tpm and no secure boot so you want to have two things the first thing is you want to have the actual iso for windows 11 so you can go to this website i'll link that in the description so what you want to do is you want to click on where it says disk image so you click there and select windows 11 then you want to scroll down and click download then it will generate this for you so choose your language uh, in this case i'll choose english um, yeah english like that then you press confirm okay so once that is done you can just click on this 64 like that that should begin uh, downloading so if we check in our downloads you should see it there for me i'll cancel it since i already have it but you have to wait for it to download then you also need virtual box so because i'll be installing this in virtual box so you want to have virtual box also installed in your system so as well you just want to go to the link in the description then you'll find the link for web download virtual box then you want to download the host so my host system is windows if you're using ios you can just choose that so I'll go with windows okay that should also uh, start downloading okay as you can see it's downloading so once it's downloaded um, we'll install virtualbox together and set up windows 11 so once you have your virtualbox downloaded you just want to double click on that so that we install virtualbox once virtualbox is open when you see the setup wizard just press next and next again so as in for me here i'll leave everything as default if there's anything you want to change you can change that from there next then it will tell you this warning and everything just say yes and then press install once you see the screen meaning it is installed you just want to press finish which will launch the software okay so as you can see i had it already installed so these are some of my virtual machines okay okay so now we want to set up our windows 11 on virtual box so what you want to do is click on new so once you click on new you want to name your virtual machine so if you see if you start typing windows if you put 11 it will automatically select the version of windows for you okay so i'll just type in windows 11 pro to just differentiate it with this one already running okay so i'll leave everything as default but you can change the machine's location by clicking there and choosing other okay so what you want to do press next so here we are allocating ram to the system so depending on how much you how much ram you have you like adjust that okay so for me i'll just leave it the way it was at 4 gb like that press next so create a virtual hard disk yes just continue then you want to go with vdi just like that press next you want to choose dynamically allocated so meaning it will either scale up or down depending on the use okay go with next then here you want to choose the storage so depending on how, how much storage you have on your system you can uh, still adjust that as well so for example 70 okay i chose 70 gb for example then here i'll choose where i want to to place my disk itself okay so you want to choose one of like your partitions that have a lot of space so in this case if i was to choose this one or yeah i'll go with the same one create let me just create a new folder inside here okay i can create a new folder there and call it windows 11 like that press open and save it there okay then i want to press create so now as you can see our first step has been done which is this windows 11 pro okay so what we want to do is click on it once and then go to settings okay so it should bring this settings tab for you now we can do a bit of tweaking 
So you can go under advanced. So this is when you want to share your clipboard with the host. Okay, but we won't be doing that. Under system, this is where we want. Okay, so just anti floppy disk, we don't need that. But under processors, so you can choose how many processors do you want to allocate to the virtual machine. So also this is based on how many calls and what are the specs of your CPU. So you would adjust it to what you see it fit. I will just leave it under dual like that. Under display, you just leave it maxed out like that, which is fine. That's when we want to go to storage now. So we want to add our ISO image to the virtual machine. So we would click on this empty. Okay, then you want to click the disk here, which is blue. Click that, then you can press, you can click choose a disk file click on that then it will ask you to take it to take you where is your windows 11 iso go with this one here double click on that it will add the iso on the on the virtual machine here as you can see it's five gigs then what you want to do here as well is this depends as well so usb you can choose either the highest port so it will be transferring at that speed when it's using your usb ports under network or just leave it under NAT so meaning it will act as its own network like it, as in it will act as if it's on its own network not part of my uh, local network okay so once that is set you just want to press ok so now our virtual machine is ready to be started so mind you this computer i'm using does not support windows 11 i can show you that check here if i go here health yeah health checker i'll open that okay so once that is open i can say check now as you can see this pc must support secure boot which is not enabled also must support that as well uh, tpm which is not enabled then as you can see here this processor is not currently supported with windows 11 and that's my processor an i5 so this is to show you that my system doesn't support windows 11 so if we were to try to install the iso with uh, like the normal windows uh, windows installation that would fail to get us that our system is not windows 11 compatible so i'll show you how to bypass that okay so once you come back to your to your virtual box sorry so you want to click on the machine and press start okay so it's just starting the machine yeah it should be big so it's saying press any key to boot from a cd yeah so you want to press that a uh, key to make sure that it boots from the cd because remember the way we had created the iso we set it up as a disk so you pressing a key once you see that command press any key for you to like run through that so now as you can see here let me make this big as you can see here this is our windows 11 installation so what you want to do while you are here is press shift then f10 okay so once you press that it will give you a command prompt um, like screen here so what you want to type in there is reg edit so we are going to be editing a bunch of uh, registry files okay so what you want to do is click on local machine then you want to go to system then you want to go to setup okay so under under the setup here you want to right click and say create new key then what you want to name that key is exactly what you are going to see on the screen which is lab config the way it is written as you can see there with a capital L and capital C press enter okay so now in this lab config we want to right click again and say new but this time we are going to create a DOED okay so here where it says new value that's what we are going to write the 
the specific command and it has to be exactly the way you're going to see it again on the screen which is bypass secure boot like that check okay bypass with a capital b capital s and another capital b and a capital c okay bypass secure boot check okay so now you want to you want to double click on that then we have to give it a value of um, one okay so the way you can write that is literally by putting in seven zeros like one okay let me just click there one two three four five six seven and a one okay then you want to press ok and that was it was set to the a value of one again you want to right click say new and again create new d weight 32 bit click on that and then you also want to type in by bypass t p m check again you have to make sure that you write it exactly the way i've written it okay again you want to double click on that and also give it a value of one which is uh, seven zeros also one so which is zero one two three four five six seven and one oh yeah you want to have seven zeros and a one and then you want to press ok as well so now once we've created the registry keys right here you can close this and close the command prompt now you can go ahead and choose your keyboard and everything so here keyboard so now once you do your settings here you want to go next then you want to press install okay so usually if you if you ask this if you just install it direct on a unsupported hardware you find it won't even bring this screen to you it will tell you immediately that that system is not compatible so what i want to do i'll just say i don't have product key okay then here i'll just choose windows 11 pro then next so as you can see you won't even reach this far if you don't you didn't do those registry edits that i've shown you then next yeah then we can just say it's customized so as you can see that 70 gb we created earlier so i can just press next and leave it to do its thing i'll fast forward the video a bit to the point uh, where it actually opens usually along the way i'll be showing you certain things as well if necessary okay so keep watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel just restart that so here just leave it to do it thing it's just opening okay so now once it's done with the loading you should see this new setup wizard so again you just choose your country or region so go ahead say confirm so you also give it a sec on this one so in terms of keyboard layout i want to choose us next i don't want to have any other keyboard once the app checking for updates is done it will ask you to put in the device name of which in this case i'll, I'll use a channels name okay like that it contents next so it's saying it can contain like spaces and everything so just remove the space go next okay so it will continue to ask you a bunch of questions that you just need to answer to so that it sets up your window system okay so now it's asking you how are you planning to use this so i'll just use personal like that click on personal then click next okay this you can close 
so it will not allow you to bypass this screen you just have to have a microsoft account so you can go ahead and create one so it will ask you to create a pin so you can just create your pin from here okay whatever you want to create okay okay welcome back so it, uh, it has recognized my account so it's asking if it wants to sync you know try to restore the last things i had so i'll just say set as new device next okay i'll just go with next with the settings okay so here you can choose to customize your experience so in this case i'll say something like that confirm so that's up to you you can change the settings to whatever suits you okay next yeah so here you can read through so if you want all these things you can say continue or just decline that i'll also skip that as well so it will check for updates and once it's done with checking for updates we'll see what the next screen is There you have it folks, your Windows 11 is now up and running. So guys, if you find this video useful and helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future uploads and you don't want to miss the things we will do next and because in the next videos I'll be showing you settings that you need to turn off in windows 11 to make it faster so don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and thank you for watching guys